All right, here at 1200 Brookside, uh, we're going to walk down the driveway here. Um, just take a good look at the side of the house and, and everything there. There's a lot of uh, exterior maintenance that needs to be done here. And so this is a uh, drive under garage and we're going to go uh, over here to the uh, porch area. Uh, first, we're going to look at some uh, cracking here over the garage. What happens in here is these this metal here is called a lintel and it comes detached and you can see the curve towards the middle and it pulls that brick uh, down there and that's uh, that's one of the issues that happen uh, here. Uh, everything needs painting on the, I say the window frames uh, need painting. These are all the aluminum windows, so they eventually need to be replaced. Um, you can see the painting around the door frame needs to be done. Um, it's got a, looks like this is uh, here right at the porch where there was a repair done right down through here. This is the porch that they were talking about that would need uh, repair. It's, uh, it's not something you'd have to do immediately, but eventually it's uh, sunk, sunken down here in the middle. Um, I'm going to go back through the garage now that we've, this is the back, this is a back porch area. And this is the back of the house. All right, we're going into the garage from the pedestrian door. We see this is basically a two car garage. There's real, it's a real low uh, crawl space. This is our HVAC on the inside here. Again, this looks like a pretty old unit. Uh, Chrysler, eight, air temp, a division of Chrysler. Uh, made that one. Water heater put, looks new. And this is the back side of the workspace. There's enough room for two cars in here once these uh, work benches are removed. And then all this right here would be uh, work area. But that's all that's in the basement is uh, cars and a, a little small work area. All right, we're coming up the steps and we're coming into this big uh, bonus room, which has a uh, wood paneling and linoleum. It is a huge bonus room. Uh, it's got some cabinets over here. And from here, we're going to come through. There's a laundry room here. And that's going to bring us uh, to the first bedroom right here. This is the half bath. And we're going to come into the uh, little, that little fireplace room. You can see in the pictures. And there's a door over here that does go out to that porch on the back. Uh, coming into the kitchen, these are wood um, countertops. There's the sliding glass door. This, I believe, is a, uh, a copper sink. That's pretty cool. And pot filler and exhaust fan. Uh, they did not do anything with the oven. It's the same. And uh, that. Uh, this is the dining dining room. There's a big mirror in the corner there. Uh, this is the formal, I guess you call it the formal living room. And 
we are going to head upstairs. We'll go right into the uh, bedrooms upstairs. This is, uh, let's see, that's the second bedroom I count. This is the third bedroom. Everything up here is carpeted. This is the uh, first full bath. This tile is throughout. I do not know what's behind that door. There's a panel there for something. This is bedroom number four. It's got a small little alcove as you walk in the door. And here's your master. They've put some hardwoods in here. And this is the uh, master bank of right here. Sorry for the video, I'm trying to close those cabinets. Okay, uh, closets. All right, here's the uh, master bath, and it is small, um, just a stand-up shower in there. And I'm going to get you a look at the second lot, which is off the back of the house. And sorry again about all the jumpy video, but that's it. I hope you didn't get too sick.